Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video with me working on my sister's 535D today. So I'm going to be looking at doing my sister's 535D's engine oil today and I thought I'd do a quick video showing you how to do it. Apologise if you hear loads of cars going past here right now. But first things first, we'll open the bonnet. And just over here in this little groove of the engine cover, you have a 32mm nut, well, lid I should call it. Definitely a good idea to get a quick little piece of tissue or something like that to catch the um, oil coming off the oil filter and the lid as well for it. So I'm just going to grab that now. So I'm just going to grab the oil filter out of the housing first. So from here you'll be able to just tug the oil filter off the housing it gets a little bit tight at times but there you go that's the oil filter off and the lid kept separate I changed my gloves over because taking the oil filter out of the housing is always a bit of a messy job especially trying to show you guys what i'm doing but yeah what i've done here is i've just kind of put the car up on some wood planks um this is kind of just to give a little bit more space underneath the car but in all fairness you probably can get to the bolt without needing to jack the car up or anything like that it's just better too because you get a little bit more space if you have ramps that you can drive the car onto that would be perfect that would be even better than this but my ramps are actually just too big so i don't look at using them right now just looking underneath the car now you can see just over there around that little bit of a metal housing is actually the drain plug for the engine oil so it's a bit further back than you would like to have it um, in terms of actually being able to change it unless you were literally able to get underneath the car comfortably but it's still one that you can reach um, like I said it's just a little bit more awkward but yeah I'm just gonna get my um, drip tray ready to catch the oil and be able to just drain it all out I believe it's a seven it's a 17 millimeter that you need to um, have ready to take that off So I'm only five foot five and that's all I need to get underneath to be able to look at undoing the 17 millimeter. Now it is best advised to let the car warm up a little bit, then cool down. Um, so it's just warm. It's not hot. It's not a hot engine, just warm engine oil. Um, it just flows out a little bit easier. But yeah, I'm just going to let that all come out now. Got the drain plug, which I've cleaned up. And now we're going to look at putting in the new filter. You should always get an o-ring with your oil filter as well as um, this little washer for the um, for your sump plug so i'm going to put the little washer on first there we go washers on and then you can just look at removing the o-ring from the housing it's a little bit fiddly at times there we go the old o-ring now here is the engine oil we've gone for my sister decided to just opt for this Castrol zero w30 here's this open slightly i like to do a secondary hole here as well doing this just makes it a little bit easier when you're pouring it in we'll close this off shake it about should get a little bit of oil coming onto the lid just need to do a little bit more so i have enough on the camera so there we go grab this little bit of oil get your new o-ring just lubricate this then just gently get this to go on you can see that it's not right at the bottom but there's a larger groove here where this sits into just like that you can look at grabbing the oil filter then I'm just pushing it on it's a little bit tight but then once you secure it in nicely it'll be in there nice and tight it'll be a snug fit 
don't worry you don't want to crush it obviously but you just want it to be snug fit and we can get this ready to go into the housing some people like to pour a little bit of engine oil into where the housing goes um, just to kind of get some engine oil in there and um, it's completely down to yourself another quick tip is actually just grabbing a little bit of a tissue lint free and just getting it in to the engine oil housing filter housing just to grab that little bit of engine oil that's going to be at the bottom and prepare the new one in there and then get rid of that old glove because that's going to be nasty so once you've got all of that done now's going to be a perfect time to then look at putting on the drain plug so i got this here i'm just going to go underneath like i said 17 millimeter just start tightening it up with your hand first i like to always do it with your hand first purely because you don't want to cross thread anything underneath there um make sure that that's all done then once you have done you can use an electrical ratchet like this um that's completely down to yourself but i'm not going to really look at doing that I'm happy to use this and that electrical ra ratchet i don't want to get any engine all over it um you know that's one of the best tools that i've got in the garage but yeah just jump underneath and get the sump plug back on tighten that up i believe it's 25 newton meters um, or as most mechanics will do tight but not too tight so with a breaker bar like this i like to go just tight but not maximum strength and yeah that's it that's the bottom of it done that's everything done that you need to do from underneath the car just take out the drip tray and um, carry on with filling up the engine oil next so just take the oil filter out of the housing again and just put a little bit of engine oil through the housing um, for the oil filter it's not completely necessary some would say but because you've kind of drained the area out it's just good to get a little bit lubricated it's another way of getting engine oil into the engine in a different area so yeah let's just top this up a little bit again it doesn't need to be excessive that'll be enough for now once you've done that just get your oil filter back out and get the housing back on it's gonna tighten that up later and we'll fill up the rest of the engine oil now just my thing to do is just double check underneath to make sure you've got no oil leaks um, and it's also important to kind of remember that you did put back on the drain plug so I'm just gonna come back over here and just tighten this up so I'm just going to double check out with uh, my torque wrench but it just needs to be 25 newton meters which it does say on the top here as well so with the engine oil cover off you'll be able to then top up the rest of the engine oil here it's going to widen out the bottom hole now this car if I remember correctly takes 8.5 liters so definitely going to clear out this first one so these two bottles have four liters each so that's eight in total if i remember correctly the car takes um i think it's either 8.5 liters or 7.5 liters i'm going to double check that in a second what i'm going to do is i'm going to first put in three liters here so that means in total i've got seven liters and then um, bit by bit i'm going to put in the rest just to make sure now then you can actually check your engine oil level here ah it's on there real tight obviously at the moment it's going to be empty if your car doesn't come with the engine oil level here you'll obviously be able to see it inside from what i'm aware of the facelift versions of the 535 or 530ds or basically the this um generation engines um the facelift version um, about 7.5 liters and the pre-facelift takes around 8.5 liters what i'm going to do is i want to fill up um 7.5 and then take it step by step once i've got the car level um but yeah this is just a temporary means uh, you, you basically need to buy nine liters in total and then you'll be all set so i want to fill up the rest and get it to 7.5 liters left 
So like the reason why I don't put in all of the engine oil straight away is because you don't actually 100% know how much of the engine oil you've managed to drain out. Even though I've done my best to get it all out, I can't confirm that unless I actually counted up how many liters I've got in there, which I'm not gonna do right now. <laughs> so um, once it's all settled down, you've made sure everything's kind of dripped into here. I've got 7.5 liters in. You can then look at, if you are just gonna do an engine oil change, that's all you need to do. I'm going to do the air filters next now. Air filter change is super easy. Just need to undo a few of these clips. This one's really awkward to get to. But one, two, three, four. Move the metal housing around. And that's it. You can take out the old filter and this one looks pretty used up now. See it all there? That's the air filter changed over. Get this one thrown away. So now to reset the, the services on over for the um, iDrive system, turn the key on to the second point of ignition, hold the reset button like this. This will come up. So you hold down for it to reset, it'll ask you. Then you hold again, reset it. Happy days. So that's it really with regards to the 535D. Again, it's gonna be similar with the 525 and the 530D engines. You basically just gotta do the same thing. So it's a basic quick service on these cars. Again, glow plugs and those kind of things, very long job and they don't really need changing on these cars unless you have a problem. Air filter, engine oil, car's gonna sound and feel happy. Just top up the engine oil, like I said. Once you've got the car on a level surface, just make sure you're topping it up on the right, um, up to the right limit. If you're only able to tell the engine oil level from the inside, then like I said, just park it up. I believe it's only 7.5 liters. So maybe fill up just about seven liters and then fill up the other 500 milliliters afterwards. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, please leave a like if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you want to see more car content and little how to's and DIYs like this. And I also got all the other cars going on with the project. So leave me a comment if you think I could have done anything any better or differently. And I'll see you all in the next video. For now, peace out.